It's Ryan's. No, if that were true, you'd be shouting in from the rooftops. You'd be calling up just to tell me just how thrilled you and Ryan are. We are thrilled. But I have a son, remember? I beg your pardon? Technically, I'm still married. And whether it has occurred to you or not, Stephen has had a lot to deal with the last few months. I am well aware of that. We'll try to process this. I think the last thing my son needs is to hear a bunch of snide remarks about his mother's past. When this divorce is final, I will tell Stephen. And as a matter of fact, I will tell the whole planet. But until then, I'm going to keep my mouth shut. And I would really appreciate it if you would do the same thing. And I suppose this is the reason you were so upset. <laughs> when was I upset? My father saw you and Ryan at Tops the other night. He said that you seemed very troubled. So you're spying on me I was again. doing no such thing. My father cares about you. He's concerned uh, about you. You can tell Spencer to take his concern and shove it. Well, I guess he's right. You are upset. Oh, God. You want to know the truth? I'm scared. I'm scared, Grant, that I'm not going to be able to carry this baby to term because of the shooting. Are you happy? Sorry. All I want is to be free of you, to be married to Ryan, and to, please God, have a happy and healthy child. I hope that can happen for you. I'm sure you do. Well, what is it? Aren't you satisfied yet? No, I didn't say that. Well, you didn't have to. I can see the look on your face. Of course, when we were together, you never believed a word I said either. Well, I guess that was true. If you want to know if this child is yours or not, Grant, why don't you go check my hospital records? I can't do that without your authorization, and you know it. You want it? You got it. I'll call the hospital, and I'll have them make sure my sonogram results are released to you. I don't want to force your hand, That's Victoria. That's exactly what you want to do. But it's all right. It doesn't make any difference. It'll just be proof positive that there's absolutely no way this child could have been conceived in Switzerland. Stop by the hospital this afternoon anyway. I'll just pick up the reports then. Fine, you do that. Oh, and uh, Grant. Ryan and I won't be expecting a baby present. Goodbye, Victoria. Please tell Stephen I enjoyed our visit. calling. I need to speak to my obstetrician, please. No, no, everything's fine. Just please get Dr. Ziff on the line. This is urgent. I know that look. This is serious. Yeah, it is. Is, is Vicky sick? Is she? No, she's fine. Everything's, everything's great. She just, um, she happens to be in the same state that you're in. Vicky's pregnant? You got it. Oh, hey. my God, that's great. Yeah. Congratulations. You've wanted kids for a long time. Yeah. What? This isn't great. No. Well, I mean, yeah, it, it would be. It could be. It should be, but unfortunately, it's not my kid. Oh, it's Grant's. Yeah. Well, of course it's Grant's. I, I didn't mean to imply. No, 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 of course not. It's... What does the father have to say about all of this? Well, Vicky hasn't told him yet, and uh, I see that's part of the problem. Vicky isn't planning on telling him anything at all. Well, how do you feel about that? Well, I, I mean, you know me. I'm not too thrilled about it. I mean, look, I sympathize with Vicky's position. It's, it's, it's just that I don't think it's right to lie to Grant about his own kid. So what are you going to do? I don't know. Honestly, don't know. Hi. Hi. I didn't see you. Well, we've been married that long. You don't see me. What's so interesting that you're reading here? A horoscope? Ah, uh, you're not going to like it. Take a look. 
Local doctor accused of rape. Keep reading. One of Bay City's newest interns, Dr. Morgan Winthrop, has been charged with rape and felonious assault in the second degree. Oh, I don't believe this. What, you do? Well, now you have to understand. You remember that night I tried to help Lorna to the couch. Yeah, I remember you told me. Well, that's when she scratched me. She was pretty out of it, and while she was fighting me, my shirt pocket got ripped. But this information hasn't been released yet. Why would you think the cops know anything about this? Because while I was waiting for my pretrial motions to be filed, I heard a couple of cops talking about a search warrant. And you, in your infinite wisdom, decided that the best course of action would be to come back home and destroy the evidence. No. No? No. Well, yes. I, I well, I mean, I, I know it wasn't the smartest thing I could have done. Smart? What is wrong with you? How could you be so dumb? Because I'm scared, Cass. I'm scared. I'm trying to protect myself. Now, why can't you I'm understand I'm your attorney, it? Kid. No. Protecting you is my job. Oh, yeah, and how effective are you going to be? What? If you don't believe I'm innocent, if you still have doubts about me, how are you going to defend me properly? I cannot take any chances. Who is it? Police. We have a search warrant for these premises. Please, if they get this shirt, it's really gonna seem like... The shirt, Morgan. The shirt. Oh, so this is how it is? Every time they try to nail me, you pick up a hammer and try to help them along, is that it? If you tie my hands like this, I can't help you at all. Oh. Oh. Well, hell, why don't you just... Why don't you just order a cell block for me while you're at it? Because if they get this shirt, I am finished. Oh, come on, Kelsey. You don't actually believe that Morgan fits the profile of a rapist, do you? I don't you? know him well enough to answer that question, but one thing I do know, for every rapist that fits into a nice, neat category, there are six others who don't. So you actually think he's guilty? Let's just say I have my reservations about Dr. Winter. Don't you remember when we caught him tampering with the test results? But the that DA? doesn't necessarily mean that he's guilty. Poor kid, he's probably scared witless about his career. Yeah, well, he should have thought of that before he raped her. You know the victim? Yes, I did the exam. Are you sure she was raped? I'm positive. Don't you think that I've had all enough... All right, all right, all right. Yes, yes, of course. It's just it's very difficult to believe. I mean, I've seen this kid in action. He's going to make a real fine doctor. If it weren't for him, Frankie would have lost her baby. I know. Maybe the victim was so upset that she ID'd the wrong person. No, not this woman. Oh, come on, Kelsey, how can you say that after seeing her once in an ER? I know her, John. So do you. What? Well, look, I've been meaning to tell you. I... Well, who is it? It's Lorna. Lorna Devon. Lorna, would you wait a minute, please? Come on, I'm so tired of you misinterpreting me. No, I think it's very clear how you feel. It has been ever since this whole thing happened. No, I don't think you understand, because I'm protecting your anonymity, okay? What about what Detective Wager said from the very beginning? Detective Wager isn't my sister. That's right. And your sister is doing what she thinks she would want her to. Well, it doesn't matter, because by tomorrow everyone will know everything, because we hit the papers, or didn't you see? No, I didn't see what they mentioned your name. No, not, not, not specifically, but Morgan's. Uh-huh. But it doesn't matter, because by tomorrow everyone will be labeling me the victim. Look, I know I've made stupid mistakes with Mom, and, and then with Judy and Victor, but... I've learned my lesson. I'm not the little girl with blinders on anymore. Yeah, well, I guess I've made a few snap judgments in my day. Maybe it runs in the family. Point is, I'm not blaming you. And I never did. You know what makes me crazy, though, is, is that sometimes everything is so clear, and then other times I have these blank spaces and I... important details, and I can't remember them. That doesn't matter, because it's not gonna... Morgan will not get away with it. No, but it certainly doesn't help. How sympathetic is a jury going to be when they realize that I am blank because of some alcoholic haze? Yeah, but that's not gonna matter, because you were sober when you met Morgan, and so was he. 
Although I, I did remember one thing. I, what? I, I remembered that I tore his shirt. I remember hearing it tear, and I think he even cursed about it. See, that's great. I mean, more and more is going to come back to you. Now, did you tell Dana this? Yeah, a little while ago. Uh -huh. She uh, has a search warrant for Cass's house. And if all goes well, and if Morgan hasn't destroyed the shirt, then maybe this will be the very thing that will force him to confess. 